says, today I'm going to be taking you through an equipment-free full body Pilates workout. Let's get started. All right, you guys, we're going to be starting today hands and knees for a foot kneeling position. Hands under your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. Find your neutral spine. You have a curve just here in the low back, lifted in the abdominals. Let's take a couple breaths, just getting your body activated, especially in your core. Big inhale. Exhale, close the ribs. Breathe all the air out of your mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Activating that core. Big inhale. On the next exhale, I want you to round up through your spine. Good. Getting that cat position. And then you're going to inhale, opening your spine up towards the ceiling. And again, exhale, round. Inhale, release. Getting into that extension in the spine. Exhale, round up, up, up. Pressing up away from the floor, but keeping your shoulders relaxed and down. Belly button to spine, keeping the belly lifted as you go into your cow pose. Exhale, rounding up. Inhale, release. Good. Two more. Exhale. This should be activating your core, getting your spine nice and warm. Last one. Exhale, round. And inhale, up. And find your neutral spine. Feeling nice and long through your spine. Again, check that you're lifted through your core. I want you to lift your front arm and back leg. Reaching into that bird dog position. Holding it here. We're going to stay on this first side. I want you to tap your fingers and toes down. And then exhale, lift up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift up. Meanwhile, you're just stabilizing here through your core. Keeping the belly lifted. Ribs are zip tied together. Good. Tune into the breathing. You have four. Exhale, three. Two. Double check you're not swaying in the back. Hold it up on one. Little pulses here for eight. Seven. Six. Your head should be right in line with your spine. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. From here, I want you to round up just like you were doing in your cat. Round your spine up towards the ceiling, pulling your elbow and knee towards one another, and then reach out. Again, exhale. Round it in. And inhale, reach. Exhale. Round it in. And reach it out. And round. Inhale, reach. Find the long line, making sure you're still stabilizing through the core. Good. Hold this next one in. Rounding up. Pulsing it. Elbow and knee pulsing together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, hold, hold. And reach it out. Good. Place the opposite hand down. Awesome. We're going to go right into the other side. Check in with those ribs and abdominals. Float the opposite arm and leg up. Holding it here. Belly is lifted, ribs are closed, reaching down, tap and lift. Inhale down and lift. This series is working a lot of stability through your core, which helps you to activate that transverse abdominus muscle. The muscle wrapping around your spine, it's helping to flatten and tone your rectus abdominis, your six pack, six -pack muscle. So we want to do lots of stability work. It's going to help that transverse be strong in order to protect our spine, helping with any lower back issues. Last two, and one, hold it up, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold on one, round it up. Try not to round up your shoulders, take all the rounding down into your spine. Inhale, reach, exhale, round. And reach. Good. Exhale. Think about someone's poking you in the belly. You're lifting up and away from that poke. Good. This is four. And let's 
let's do four more. Four. Reach. And exhale, three. As you reach, make sure you're staying lifted in the lower belly. Two. And one. Awesome. Last one. We're holding it in. Pulsing. Spine going up towards the ceiling. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Keep that round. Three. Two. One. Just hold it. Good. And release to the long line. Place it down. Awesome. Send it back for a second. Crawl those hands out. Give your shoulders and rest, wrists a little break. Alrighty, we're going right into a plank series. So, if you're already feeling a little bit too much pressure in your wrists, know that you can always do all of this on your elbows or elbows and knees, all the above. So, your hardest option here is going to be tucking your toes coming up to your full plank. We're going to be sending the hips back and then bringing them forward. So if you do this on your knees, this would be your forward plank. Sit back, push forward. You can do the same thing, elbows and knees, back, or just elbows, back. So pick your poison, here we go. Send it back, exhale, forward. Inhale, exhale, power. I'm going to squeeze your glutes at the top. And finding that long line. Lifting up away from the floor, thinking about almost a slight round through the upper half of your back. It's going to help for any sinking in your scapula. Good. Exhale. Two. And one. We're going to add a march. So you're here. Press it back. Pull one leg in. And back. And in, upper body should be getting tired. Down, pull. Down, exhale. Yes, you guys, power through. Take that drop down to your knees at any point if you need it. One more each side. Back, pull it in. Check the lower belly. Keep it lifted, ribs are closed. Go back to the first side, pulse it in. Eight. Seven, six, you've got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, send it back. Last set of pulses, opposite leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Find your plank, hold it, hold it, power through, and drop your knees. Send it back. Amazing. You guys. That's a tough series right off the bat. So shake it out. We're going to be coming onto your bellies. Legs will just go back. Hands are actually going to be reaching forward. So you're in one long line here. Slight turn out for your legs so that your hips can be flat. We're going to be lifting arms and legs together. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. On your exhale, lift. I'm going to think about your lower belly coming up, away from the mat. You don't want to be spilling out into the mat or it can put pressure in the low back. And down, big exhale lift. Down, good. Squeezing up through the glutes and down. If you start to fill your lower back, just take out the legs and just lift the arms. Also take your range a little bit smaller you feel any negative pressure down here, you want the focus to be in the upper half of your spine along with your glutes, completely skipping the low back. Let's do three. Exhale, two. Hold it up on one. Whew. Our backs are already a little tired from the plank series. So you're going to go opposite arm is leg lifting. A little bit of coordination here. Switch. Switch and switch. Check that lower belly. Is it still lifted away from the mat? Squeeze that booty. Now speed it up. Switch, switch, switch. And swimming now, just quick. Kicking those arms and legs. Eight, seven, breathe. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it on one. Hold, hold, hold. Open your arms out to the sides. Send them back up. Lower that body down if you're feeling the pressure. 
pressure at all on the lower back. Lower your legs as well. We just have four. We're almost there. Three. Two. Hold your arms down on one. Hold it, hold it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You're doing awesome. Three. Two. One. Relax it down. Woo. All right. That should be burning through your back. Okay, I want your legs to come a little bit closer together. You can still be slightly turned out. Hands are going to be here right by your sides of your chest. Elbows are pulling in. This is going to be a tricep press push up, but with our body laying flat down. So, what's going to happen is you're going to exhale and lift just that upper half of your spine. Your belly is going to lift off the mat as well, but you don't want to be releasing or putting pressure down into your low back. So again, exhale, lift, belly button lifts with you away from the mat and down. So keeping that whole upper body tight and engaged and lift, but you're getting a good extension through your spine, which is awesome for how much time we spend rounding forward these days over our devices. So this is focusing on triceps as well as that extension. So, Use your breath, power into that tricep, press into the floor, let your body be heavy down, but making sure the lower belly stay lifted. Yes. And two. Last one. We're going to go fast. Pulse it up. Eight. Seven. You're going about halfway. Six. Five. Four. Three, lower belly. Two, hold it up on one, lower slowly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. All right, let's send it back. Shake it out. Feeling that stretch through your arms, round up through your spine. Curl those fingers out. All right, let's go into a more focused abdominal series. We're gonna sweep those legs around. Arms are gonna start right in front of you. Roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale to prepare, exhale. I want you to tuck through your pelvis, rounding through your back here. From here, turn towards me, lifting this front leg, rotating, and then place it back down. Go the same way again towards me. Exhale, rotate, and back. So you're getting that scooped position through the low back. And then rotating, working rotation and obliques. Trying to stay tall and lifted through the top half of your spine. This is going to be helping to trim the waistline. And back. Exhale. And three. Good, try to go a little bit further with your rotation, reaching this arm forward, protracting back. Hold it on one, pulse it, twisting. Eight, seven, six, try to grow tall with your spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, other side, go. And down, reaching forward with the opposite arm, and then pulling back with the shoulder of the bent arm. Good. You got four and three. Check the lower belly. It's always pulling in. Two. Twisting, twisting. And one. Hold the last one up. Hold and pulse it. Eight. Seven. Rotate taller. Five. Four. Three, two, one. We're gonna go smooth each side. Eight, good. Seven, rotate, reach. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Come up tall, shake out those hips. You should feel the waistline working there. All right. 
I want your feet flexed, legs in front of you, arms reaching. We're going to start with a roll down, but first, I want you to lift up, inhale, exhale, lay forward over your legs, getting a nice hamstring stretch, rolling up through your spine, then reach out from here, inhale, exhale, tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck that lower belly, under, 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 arms reach to the back wall, and exhale, thinking about your ribs pulling down towards your hips, massaging through your spine, lift up, exhale forward, rolling up through your spine, and back, good, exhale, so this is a good stretch through your spine, but only because you're really, really engaging your core, exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, roll up, 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 belly button to spine, lift tall, exhale, down, rolling back up, two more, rolling, slow, 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 yes, big inhale, exhale, lift up tall, and down, roll back up, let's do this one as slow as possible, rolling, eight, seven, six, five, shoulders down, four, three, two, find the long line on one, and bend those legs in, beautiful you guys, okay, take those legs in, we're going to go to an imprinted spine, so that means your lower back is pressing down into the mat, take your hands just down for now, one leg up at a time into a tabletop position, inhale here to prepare, on your exhale I want your legs to reach out, on the diagonal angle away from you. Meanwhile, your low back stays pressed down. Inhale to bend. Exhale. Reach and straighten. Good. Again, inhale. Exhale. Awesome. So your obliques are working here to stabilize. Lower belly is working a ton to hold that position, holding your belly button down and in. Good. Two more. After this next one, try to take the challenge of rolling your body up and holding it. So coming up here, you're inhaling to prepare. Exhale, reach the legs out, maintaining the roll up and back. <laughs> I feel like I'm sticky. Inhale, exhale, reach. Good, inhale and reach, pulling those abdominals down. Now add pulses with your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. This is going to be a version of the hundred. You can take your head down at any moment. If you're feeling tension crawling right up into the neck, you don't want to just fight through it. Just take your head down and keep those legs reaching. You'll get plenty of abdominal work still. And three more. And exhale. And two. Last one. And reach. Let's just hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> and bend those knees. Lay the head down. Whew. Rock it out. Side to side. So good, you guys. All right, finding that same tabletop position, imprinted spine, take your arms behind your head, roll yourself up. So now you're completely supporting yourself with your arms. I want you to keep your elbows open to try to keep your chest open, not to hunch in your shoulders. So from here, let's take one leg down, one leg up. Exhale, then inhale, bend back to center. Switch, and back. And again, back, and exhale, and back. Couple more. Trying to think flat, flat, flat through the belly, and in. Lower back stays down, and in. Last two, and here. Good. We're going to windmill your legs around, and then squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Again, inhale, and 
around, just maintaining that roll up. This is getting into those obliques, feeling that whole waistline working. Fire. 
Make sure you're lifting through your kneecap, not locking out or hyperextending. Make this quad work to hold you here. This lift is all core. Try not to use your leg. Use that core to lift your leg. One more each way. And one. We're going to pulse it to the outside for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch. One, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Relax. Shake it out. That booty should be on fire. So shake out that side. We're going to cross back with the opposite leg. Here we go. Cross back lunge and lift right away if that's comfortable. If not, take the tap. Curtsy lunge and lift. Back, spread through those toes. It's gonna help you feel more stable. Good. Tune into that breath, just like you heard me do. Big exhale. Yes, ribs are always zipped together. Lower belly is lifted. It's gonna help you find stability at the top. Squeeze that knee up, tighten through your glutes. You gotta have that power through the base. Your standing leg is your base, especially your glute. Good, take that lift. If you haven't, you can do it. And three, two, and one. We're gonna hold it here. Now, sending it back, squeeze those inner thighs together. Going as low as you can and pull it up. Try to focus on something and just maintain that focus. Say if I'm looking like down this way, I'm gonna stay focused on that same spot to try to help maintain my balance. Squeeze and lift, good. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. Power through. We're getting close. Three. Good. Two. Woo. And one. Last one. We're holding it up there. And go out. Cross it. Opposite shoulder. And lift. Cross. Lift. Try to scruff your shoulders towards me and lift. So good. And use that belly. Lift. Good. Use the core. Four. And three. Two. Last one. Good. Hold it to the outside. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it down. Woo! Shake out that booty. You should be feeling that. So, so good, you guys. Okay, coming down, we're gonna do a little lateral flexion in your spine and obliques, a little bit of glutes, and we'll be done. So, we're getting there. I want you to go, one leg is gonna be out here. This leg is crossed underneath you. This arm, you want it to be right underneath your shoulder. Starting here, you're gonna go over, pushing your hips forward towards me. I just want you to flex sideways. So you're staying in one plane of motion. Thinking about like you're inside of a window pane. You can only go side once you're up there. So hips are forward, upper body's going straight side and back down. Again, straight side, back down. Once you feel like you have that motion, I'm going to try to take this bottom leg, cross it behind the front, and then back down. Again, big exhale, lift tall. You're going up and over like you have a bar or something here. You're flexing your spine over that bar. Lateral flexion of the spine. 
is not something we do just on the regular. So it's so good for us. Gets that blood flowing. Giving us those endorphins. Big, up and over. And let's do two or three more. If you want to advance it fully, you're going to just keep that leg behind you. Not quite go to the floor, but you're going over. Two more. Two. Hold this last one up. Whatever position is going to be best for you. Hold it. Pulse up to the ceiling. Seven. Six. Five. Keep that shoulder down. Three. Two. One. And release down. Really good. Okay. Awesome. The exercise can be hard. So let's attempt it on the other side. You can do it. So hand is going to be right under your shoulder. Arm is following the line of your leg. This bottom leg is wrapped underneath. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Push your hips forward towards me. And then flex over sideways. You can turn your head to finish that line. Just gives you an inch or two more flexion. Exhale, squeeze the booty over, over, over. What I don't want to see is that your ribs are flaring open back here. So ribs stay knitted together. Thinking about that is going to help you just go straight side. And back. Good. If you feel comfortable there, bottom leg is going behind your front over, back down. Meanwhile, you're really pressing down the shoulder, engaging in your lats. Over and down. You can keep that first option. It's going to be perfectly fine, still giving you that oblique work and flexion in the spine. Good. Three more. You can take that full option if you would like. Three. And two, zip those ribs, and one, hold it, hold it, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, drop that knee if you need it, four, three, two, one, and back down. Beautiful, you guys. Okay, shake out those arms. That's like a full body coordination work. You did it, awesome job. Okay, let's lay down on our backs, finish with some glutes, and we are finished. So, I'm going to lay all the way down, finding a neutral spine space in the low back, opening in the chest and shoulders, feet right underneath your hips. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, just lift into that bridge. Come down, tap the ground. Exhale, lift. And down. Big breath. And now, keeping that core, again, zipped in the ribs, lifted in the belly. Everything is flat and pulling down. Like you have a corset zipped, wrapped around. That's going to keep your abdominals working and stabilizing, helping to flatten your core while we're working our glutes. So, okay, you got four and three, two. Hold it up on one. Drop your hips just an inch or two. Pulse it. Eight. Seven, six, check those ribs. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. I want you to take your front leg up towards the ceiling. From here, hips always stay straight across from one another. You're going to flex the foot, tap the booty down towards the ground, and then lift up. Keeping that corset and hips are stable. It's going to be the hardest part is keeping those hips level with one another. Four. And three. Squeeze any low back pressure. Don't go as high. One. Pulse it up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Booty's on fire. Two. One. Circle this leg. Little circles. Draw a circle on the ceiling. Three. Two, lengthen that knee. One, reverse. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Set it down. Drop your hips real quick. Inhale, exhale, lift right back up. Awesome. Opposite leg. Reach it up. Keep those hips equal. Flex down. Tap the booty down. Lift. Flex and lift. 
Good. Three. And four. We have eight. Here we go. Four more. And three. Try to soften in the chest. Two. And one. Good. Hold it up. Pulse it. Eight. Seven. Equal those hips. Five. Four. Three. Two. You're almost there. Circle. Four. Three. Two. One. Reverse. Four. Three. Two. One. Set that foot down. Keep your hips up. We have one more set of pulses. Both together. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Hold it. Take an inhale. In the ribs on your exhale, I want you to roll down one vertebrae at a time slowly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to neutral on one. Awesome. You guys, we made it. Rock your knees side to side. Beautiful job today. Take your legs into your chest, rocking side to side. Let's stretch out for just a second. All right, take your right leg into your chest. Whew, relax those shoulders down. And let's straighten the leg up. And flex. Hand point. Whew, try to just release in the hamstring. Point and flex. And point, good, enjoy that stretch. Keep that same leg, I want you to cross it over. Pull your bottom knee up, hands through the window for a figure four stretch. Just breathe. Rock it side to side. And let's switch legs. Take that opposite leg into your chest. Roll those shoulders down. Breathing into your hip flexor. And take that leg straight up. Flex and point, taking deep breaths. Good. It's just as important for your body to recover. So take this time to just breathe. Take that leg, cross it over, pull your bottom knee up. <sighs> Stretching keeps your muscles healthy for recovery, especially so. It's good to take this moment, and even more when we're finished. You can stretch a little bit longer if you need it. Listen to your body. All right, take both knees in. I mean, to roll up. Use whatever assistance you need. Let's just sit crisscross. Take a few side to side. Up through center. That way it just feels good to stretch your spine a little bit to finish class. Couple more. Last on each side. And over. Awesome. Okay, take both hands to the floor. Feet behind you. I want you to straighten through your legs. Let's just take this hang to finish today. Nodding your head, yes and no. Shaking out your legs. You can take your hands behind you, get a shoulder stretch if that feels good. Whatever you need here, shaking side to side, pedaling out your feet, bend your knees slightly when you're ready. Now you're going to just slowly start to roll up through your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Head is coming up last, and I want you to roll those shoulders back to finish, try to stand tall today. We are done, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love for you to subscribe below to my channel so you can get updates on my workouts and follow me on Instagram if you're not for some more workout content and I hope to see you next time. Thanks again.